So, you're the one the Emperor chose as his wrath. Well past time we've had a proper talk, I should think. What's this all about? You represent the last, most vital piece in my plan to shake the Republic to its very core. I'd say more, but it's better we speak in person. I promise you, together we will change the face of the galaxy. Starting with the planet Tython. If I could carry a tune, I would sing of this day. What we are about to accomplish, the galaxy will forever behold with great wonderment. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. After all, we've never properly met. Darth Arcus. Yes, a pleasure. In my capacity as Minister of Military Offense, I have repeatedly enjoyed the fruits of your labor. And this is my most trusted advisor, Lana Benico. So much strength I sense in you. After all the trials you've endured, to stand here now is quite an achievement. And I sense someone who's more than a little taken with me. As we've only just met, that remains to be seen, Roth. You've been invited here to perform an act once thought impossible. An attack on the Jedi Temple of Tython. Promising leads have been rare ever since Imperial intelligence was effectively dismantled. However, a source I personally trust has alerted me to a hole in Tython's planetary defenses. If we act fast and strike hard, it will absolutely ruin Republic morale. Annihilate it. And once we've taken the temple, what then? While you concern yourself with the assault, Lord Go will be tasked with keeping the temple secured. So long as we have control, we'll explore the artifacts and histories stored inside. Imagine all we can learn about the Jedi and the Force. Does Lord Go have anything to say about any of this, or is he mute? Lord Go prefers to speak through actions rather than words. In that regard, he's a flawless communicator. Your shuttle awaits. By the time you reach Tython, our first wave will have established a foothold on the surface. I'll remain in constant contact throughout the offensive. Succeed in this, and together we will have signaled the beginning of the Republic's most humiliating end. Glory for the Empire! As if it wasn't enough to sense your presence. You seem to have a need to do everything as loudly as possible. This is the Jedi Temple. You are not welcome. Leave this sacred place now. You'll not get a second warning. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Surrender peacefully, Jedi. You've had your chance to retreat. Now you'll learn why. I'm the High Council's chief combat advisor. Can you believe Tech Ops already remapped the secure comms? Talented slicers we have in our employ, though even they pale in comparison next to you. Um, pardon the intrusion. I thought you'd want to know the Jedi Temple is now fully under our control. We have a number of Jedi Padawans in our custody. Must be recent additions. They didn't know the first thing about fighting. What would you have me do with them? They're not worth the time to kill. Send them out. 
Let them spread word of the Empire's victory. As you wish, my lord. You haven't found it yet, Lord Go, because the blasted Jedi don't want it found. Keep searching! The temple and its mysteries are all ours now. Darth Arcus is indescribably pleased. Don't I get to hear what Darth Arcus and his pet are discussing? It's no secret. With the temple secure, Lord Go has been tasked with uncovering any hidden information stores. On behalf of Darth Arcus, I thank you. This is a banner day for the Empire. Be proud. The Jedi Temple is now in Imperial hands. Indeed it is. All thanks to your efforts, of course. At this very moment, Lord Go's team is exploring a hidden chamber rumored to hold the Jedi's most treasured secrets. Better still, the Republic will be reeling right now, stupefied over the humiliation you've wrought. My lord. Sergeant Tarston, do you not see that I have company? Important company? Of, of course, my lord. But I have a report from, from Korriban. It seems the Republic, my lord, they... Try taking a breath, Sergeant. Yes, yes, you're right. My apologies. Republic forces have made landfall on Korriban and sacked the Sith Academy. What? A retaliation so soon? What's the present status? It's done. They've taken the Academy, secured it, and reports indicate that Darth Sovereus gave his life in its defense. I see. Leave us. Darth Sovereus made a fine addition to the Dark Council. We should all strive to be as loyal to the end. Wouldn't the Republic have been better off trying to reclaim the Jedi Temple? It's a perplexing matter, but we can't concern ourselves with it now. At this very moment, Jedi walk the halls of our Sith Academy. Our Dark Council Chambers. Simply outrageous! I'm going to coordinate with our forces on Korriban. Ensure you have a safe place to land as near the Academy as possible. As with Tython, I will remain in close contact with you throughout the operation. A final note. Whoever is heading Republic operations on Korriban must be made an example of. Do not take their command lead prisoner! May the Force favor you this day. Yes. The Force be with you, and with the great Sith Empire. What is it this time, Sergeant? These Sith apprentices were holed up in a medical supply storeroom. They're injured, some of them seriously, but they're able to walk at least. Your orders. They're in no shape to fight. Find them someplace where they can recover. Yes, of course. I'll see to it personally. Move out, cowards. Now! They've breached the front entrance. It's only a matter of time. Be ready. Jedi, you befoul the Dark Council with your presence. This place was already foul. But don't worry, Sis. I have no intention of staying. It's been conveyed to me that you shouldn't be allowed to leave. Not alive, at any rate. So it's happening. I didn't think I'd have served my purpose so soon. What are you going on about? What purpose? We believe in a cause worth protecting. Worth dying for. Let's find out if you can say the same. The Force, give us strength! <sighs> it's happening. It's all happening. And you can't stop it. I propose a trade. You tell me everything, and I call for medical assistance. It's too late for me. But I leave this place knowing I've set a great thing in motion. Uh. 
And with that, the Sith Academy is secure. I suppose saying good work would constitute a gross understatement. This Jedi Commander, he said some odd things. I'm sure Darth Arcus would like to hear about it. He's eager to offer up his congratulations in person. You've really come through for the Empire. There is so much for us to thank you for, and much yet to discuss. I hope we see you soon. The Republic's been flushed from the Sith Academy, and their Commander Jensen is dead. You have served the Empire with strength and passion. I applaud you. Before he died, Commander Jensen made a comment about having served his purpose. He did. Almost makes it sound as though the Republic sacrificed all those forces in support of some ulterior motive. Listen, I want to be sure you understand that what you've accomplished, both on Korriban and on Tython, will be long remembered. Everyone will look back on these days as the nascent events that framed a new foundation for the galaxy. They will see those who participated as its architects. Have you taken Lord Go's vow of silence, or whatever that was? I'm reflecting on the day's events. As Darth Arcus has said, your contributions thus far have been most impressive. Lana and I are indebted to you for your exemplary actions in the Empire's name. We thank you. Yes, thank you. I do hope we have the chance to speak again. Preferably soon. Glory for the Empire. This is Lana Benico. I need you to meet with me somewhere private. You may be the Empire's only hope. You came. Good. I'm aware I've been somewhat quiet following your success on Tython. Don't mistake my reticence for apathy. Truth is, I have a great deal to say. Now that we're alone, we can have a real dialogue. Why don't you start by telling me a little bit more about yourself? Oh. What is it you want to know? What wouldn't I want to know? You fascinate me. Considering the places you've gone, all you must have seen, I'm flattered that you would feel that way. Can we... Sorry, I don't mean to appear antisocial, but I do have pressing concerns. Darth Arcus wasn't entirely forthcoming about his reasons for invading the Jedi Temple. Not even with me. He was after a very specific item. An artifact. I overheard Arcus talking to Go. It did seem like they had some ulterior motive. If I knew more, I could determine what that motive is. There's very good reason to be concerned about it. Meaning? I now believe that the Republic's attack on Korriban wasn't a retaliation for Tython. It was intended to coincide with our own attack. Attacking Korriban while the Empire still held the Jedi Temple didn't make much sense to me at the time. It still doesn't. Nor should it, not from our current vantage point. But a wider context may exist that could explain recent events. There's something in the Force that I've never felt before. It exists nowhere and everywhere at once, rising, growing. I should sense that as well. Are you sure? I think I sense this growth because I'm tied to it somehow. Maybe by association to Darth Arcus. I think... I think the Empire is in terrible danger. I'm far from weak, but I'm only one Sith. Whatever's coming, I can't stop it alone, Roth. You won't have to. You have me. Thank you, my lord. Well, I'm afraid there's nothing for us to act on just yet. I'll keep my eyes and ears open. You do the same. I have to be at Arcus's side now, but I'll remain in touch. I promise.